So we got a couple bubble levels or anti-cant devices mounted on this uh, Vortex. This is a Viper PST 2.5 to 10 by 32 front focal plane. Some of you probably already seen this already. Um, looks kind of weird. Got two anti-cant devices here. Um, just kind of playing with this a little bit. This is usually mounted on our 16-inch uh, 5.56 um, SPR or Reese build, whatever you want to call it now that it's a 16-inch a barrel. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to kind of compare and cr contrast these two bubble levels, give you guys some opinions on them, because that's really why I mounted them, was just to play with them both and see how well they did uh, uh, compared to each other and which one I really like better for this, this build. So um, up front, I have the Vortex Optics bubble level. Um, I want to say both of these are about the same price. The rear I have the MSP Mounting Solutions Plus. Um, again, about the same price. I think the Vortex is a little bit more expensive. Uh, the Vortex mounts off to the side, uh, so it's easier to see just by looking up with your left eye, whereas the MSP mounts directly in line here. And uh, it's, again, a little bit more difficult to see. But um, the main thing here starting off is the the size of these. As you can tell, the Vortex is pretty damn beefy. Uh, it's it's probably a lot of overkill in my opinion. I don't I just don't know why they went this big on this level, but um it works for what it is. Uh, and my only complaint really with it is that it's it is a big chunk. It's a big chunk of uh, metal there. So they I think Vortex did realize this because recently they have come out with their new low profile design, uh, very similar in how it mounts up and where it is positioned and stuff. It's just much more lower profile. Uh, you do pay a little bit more for it though. So uh, the bubble is nice and big and nice and clear. I'm not sure if you can tell here, but the it's much bigger than this tiny bubble level from MSP. And being that the bubble is bigger, you have kind of a a, a larger uh, spectrum to look at. So it's a little bit easier to make sure you're in the middle with this big one as opposed to making sure you're in the middle with this this little one. Uh, the color is a little different as well. This one's more green and this one here is more kind of an amberish yellow. Uh, and I find that with the bigger bubble and this one here you can see is mounted that there, the side is open so it collects a little more light there. But um, you know, so so is the the mounting solutions plus side here. Um, but being that this one's bigger, it just does collect more light and it does appear clearer and brighter than the, the MSP. But um, moving back to the MSP, again, you can see it's pretty low profile. It's like this pretty thin, actually, how, how that, that bottom ring is, is thin. Uh, mounts up real nice, real flush, real nothing really sticks out like the, the Vortex. So um, my use and my opinion on both of these is that the Vortex pretty much wins hands down on on everything comparing both of these it's brighter it's clearer it's uh the bubble's bigger it's easier to read uh from a cheek weld when you're in the prone position or any position really you can just open your left eye and you can see it out of your left eye whereas because you're more like this actually uh whereas with the the top one you have to kind of come up over the top look at it make sure you're level and then you come back down onto your cheek rest uh, so with this one, you really kind of just see it out of the corner of your eye the whole time if you open up your left eye and you don't have to move your head at all. So that's a huge plus when it comes to the, the Vortex and the side-mounted anti-cant device design. So that is probably the biggest draw to these. Um, at the end of the day, I am going to, however, leave the MSP on this scope and I'm going to take off the... Uh, the Vortex and I'm going to save the Vortex for a different one maybe our 6.5 Creedmoor or longer range build or um, whatever we'll, we'll find something to use on um, a 30 millimeter tube obviously but um the reason being is that this one is just so much bigger and it sticks out so much that for the purpose of this rifle, again, it's a 16-inch 5.56 gun. I just don't see the advantage to having something this big and bulky on it when really a uh, level on that type of gun and the ranges it's going to be used at is probably a little bit overkill as is. So I do like having a level. It's really neat, you know, getting behind a gun, especially when you're shooting on some really sloping grounds and you can't really tell the level and then you put a level on it and you realize how off you really are. Uh, it's, it's nice to have that, um, especially for those long shots. But again, I think that on a 5.56 gun, it's it's probably a little bit of, um, uh, I sh and I should probably shouldn't say overkill, but um, most people probably can get away without it. So um, I'm going to opt for the slimmer and lower profile design, even though the Vortex works much better. So um, those are my opinions on those two. Just wanted to give you guys a quick video here. I posted up some pictures on um, social media and Instagram and stuff in the past couple weeks on both of these. And like I said, it looks kind of wonky. So just wanted to share that information with you. If you guys get questions or comments, uh, put that stuff down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.
Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention is uh, regarding the mounting. So again, coming back to how big the Vortex mount is compared to the rings on the, the MSP, you have to be real careful when it comes to mounting up the Vortex. Uh, if if you're wanting this to be mounted inside the inside between your two mounting positions, like close to the turret as opposed to outside the mount, uh, you're gonna have to do that before you put the mount on in most cases. There's just not enough clearance to get that, that mount uh, onto the scope uh, between the mount and the scope after it's already been mounted, uh, which is why you see our vortex being mounted in front of the uh, the LaRue mount here. So uh, the MSP is again pretty small, and it's there's I don't see really many scope mounts that wouldn't allow you to mount this uh, within the rings if you really wanted to, because this is such a small small low profile mount as opposed to the vortex. So just another quick note there. I think wind may have died down. Let me hold off less. Ah. Such a small target. Yeah. Ah, that was left edge. Yep. Right edge. Ah! Just dancing around it. Oh well. <laughs> I'll just keep shooting it. You got, so. I mean, you got it once. You got your. So right right right. Yeah, I hit it once, right? Okay. All right, let's go to 785. Switch the camera here.